<laughs> Hello, Tanner Cangelosi and me, Zuzu. Zuzu Cangelosi reporting live from our home once again. Um, I am so glad y'all are here and um, that today we're going to do uh, some watercolor again. And so what you're going to need is watercolor paper. You're going to need your watercolor paints. And um, we'll probably do marker again later this week, but today just the watercolor. Um, I also had another thought is with some of your paintings that people have been sending me pictures, they look amazing. Um, take those pictures and you can like take a photo. This is what I do. Take a photo of what you've done just straight on, then edit it to where you can't see like your hand holding it or where it's propped up against and then maybe even brighten it a little bit. And you, Amy Burns, I'm so glad you have watercolors today. Thank you, Amazon. Um, so take that image and you can even crop it in your phone to a four by six or an eight by 10 or a five by seven. And you can make prints of that. Isn't that exciting, <laughs> Zuzu Cangelosi? She's so amazing. She helped me with the triplets this morning and helped do their schoolwork. She got paid in mom bucks because <laughs> we, need, we need all the help we can get. So if you have any ideas, things I can do to bless Suzu, please let me know because poor girl, she's stuck with us. And as the oldest of six, she has to pull a lot of weight. So you take your image and if you want, I could give you even the name of, there's a small business print shop in Conway, Arkansas that I use quite a bit called Crossman Printing. You probably know of your own um, print shop. But um, I just talked to the guy who owns Crossman, and he's still printing, and he's shipping. And so literally, you can just email him your picture. You can pay him um, on online, and he'll ship you the, the prints. And so here is a, here's one that I did that is just that says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He saves those who are crushed in spirit. And so with that, you can take these little prints and um, give them to your neighbors or give them to somebody who's hurting and so it even multiplies what you're already doing. So you're already doing your artwork and then you could even make prints. So I'm teaching you all of my little tricks. Um, today, I wanted to first encourage you, if you don't already have a journaling Bible, get a journaling Bible because we might do a few things. So I got a journaling Bible. I made sure it was the fabric kind and not, um, not leather. If you don't have a journaling Bible, it's no big deal. Um, we're not going to do a whole lot with this, but what I love about a journaling Bible is you can get on and, um, or as you read, you can just make the scripture pop off the page. And so actually today, Robbie Adkinson, her mom, um, she's the, the pastor's wife at our Searcy campus of New Life Church. And her mom sent her this text that she shared with a group of pastor's wives. And I absolutely love it. I want to read what she wrote. She said, looking at the world from my back porch swing this morning, all I can feel is peace. God's creation is so beautiful. And in the quiet, it becomes so easy to hear good things from, from him and to put all the craziness of the world in perspective. And of course, we know people are hurting right now. And so, in fact, I, I was just feeling heavy hearted this weekend as I heard of people being sick, people losing jobs, people struggling financially, and just heavy, heavy hearted. But I love what Robbie's mom said. She said, reading John 16, Jesus says, in me, you will have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So that's the scripture we're painting today. And um, I again, I wanna read to you what her mom said. So I am purposing today to only dwell on the good things that I see and hear not being ignorant or putting others on putting blinders on to the bad things that might be happening but choosing to believe that ultimately God is in control and I am responsible for what my reactions to whatever might come today. And so, wow, I told I was like, "Robbie, that is powerful." And so, um, so that's what we're getting ready to do today. So if you have your papers, Zuzu, do you have anything good you want to share? A good thing that you're thankful for? Um, I'm putting her on the spot. I'm sorry. I am spend Maddie time. Oh, Maddie time. So our we have a babysitter who lives with us. Um, she's a college student. We have a little apartment above our garage. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. So I told Corey, um, I like I've never been so thankful to have somebody live with me than I am today. Um, and so she, we try to keep our distance, but the longer this has gone on, as far as give her her privacy, but the longer this has gone on, I'm like, 
Maddie, can we, can I come in your apartment and leave the kids out, out here? So, um, anyway, that is, that is what we are, uh, that's our situation right now, but Maddie is so gracious and lets the big girls come up and kind of have some Maddie time away from the little kids. And, um, anyway, so I'm really thankful for that. And so let's turn around the camera, shall we? And get this sh on the road. I'm going to see if I, there's all my brushes, some little doodles that I'm doing. And I have my iPad right here. I'm going to move my paper and Zuzu's going to do this along with us. So here we go. Okay, let me make sure you can see. Yes, baby. Well, maybe this way or that. I am gonna do it long ways today. So portrait mode. Um, so we're gonna do John sixteen thirty three. Oh, you know what I also thought was interesting about this verse is, is if you read like the whole chapter, it's you know it's right before Jesus is getting ready to go on the cross, and he says. Um, you know, he says, a time is coming, in fact, and has come when you will be scattered each to your own home. And I thought, oh, that, that sounds right now. Um, but obviously he's talking about the disciples being scattered. But And then, you will leave me alone, yet I, I am not alone, for the Father is with me. And as you can, I don't know if you can see, this is my Bible, journal, journaling Bible. And so I just brought out this verse and made it a little, um, a little bit more bold. As I have told you many things, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Okay. Zuzu, what's your favorite color? Uh, blue. Blue. Okay. Now, and I don't know if you have these. We're going to use these probably tomorrow. Uh-oh. You can't hear very well. Let me make sure. I don't know what's going on. My phone. Um, let me know if you can hear. I, I would love to know if that's where, if that the audio is working. Um. Oh, maybe. Well, let's see here. I will just talk like this. <laughs> Again, I'm so sorry about my technical skills. So what we're going to start out with, if, if you have a pencil, let's do that. We're going to make a few lines. Okay, let's see. There's a pencil for you, Zuzu. And we are going to, let's see, make our... Obviously, it's going to go this way, so we're going to make a diagonal line first. A diagonal line. Right here, cut about a third of the way, a third of the way down. And then we're going to make a straight line across, about half the way across the paper. Okay? Let me see if you can see that. Halfway across the paper. And then we're actually going to take that and we're going to make a parallel line, almost like a parallelogram. Ooh, look, we're doing math. We're doing geometry. So we have a diagonal line and we have a straight line across and a diagonal line. Okay? So that's what we've got going on so far with our lines. And then, perfect. And we're going to do this in blues today because Zuzu is with me and she likes blue. So, I'm going to make sure all my blue is very wet. Add some water, yes. So, we're going to do, actually, let's use, let's use, no. Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, I guess that's good. And actually, Zuzu's working with a half sheet of paper. She's doing one for both of her really good friends. So, I'm going to find her a smaller brush. So, I'm going to use about, I don't know, a fourth an a fourth a inch brush. There you go. And we're going to start with our folligraphy, and I'm going to start with blue. And we're going to take the wording along this line. Take heart. My boys are watching uh, YouTube, or the what? No, not YouTube. They're watching the Dude Perfect show, and they love it. Baby girl, will you go shut their door? Mm -hmm. They got a little special treat because they had good behavior today. Take heart. If you'll see, I kind of messed up here because I don't have a whole lot of room to work with, but I'm just going to kind of run with it. Take heart. So what I'll probably do is once I get to the end, I'll probably cut off some of the bottom because, again, 
It, art is never going to be perfect. Okay. So, here we go. We're going to bring this around right here, and we're going to, any downstroke on our foligraphy, we are going to make thicker. And that's okay. You can, oh, you're fine. And if you mess up, it's okay. I always feel like you can start over if you want. So, and some of the loop-de-loos are added after the fact. That is a little unknown secret. A lot of people don't actually do the beautiful fonts right off the bat. So I'm just making every downstroke a little thicker, okay? Now, also if you want to share these with somebody who does not have Facebook, we're putting them on our NLC Hot Springs page and you can share those, um, you can share those videos and they can do them at any time and obviously pause if they need to pause and get something. It does. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Part of me is, if I'm flying by the seat of my pants, which is pretty much my life right now. Do you remember that, um, that scene in Rapunzel where she's like, this is the best day. I can't believe I did this. I love my life. I can't believe I did this. I'm a terrible human. That's mostly how I feel lately. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know what I'm doing at all. Um, I'm trying to homeschool six children. It's not, thanks to Zuzu, it's going well. That's okay, that'll work. Okay, next we're going to do a small, tiny brush. Small, tiny brush, and we're going to use this parallelogram line that we've made. Let's get, actually, let's get you a teeny tiny one. Here we go. Okay, now. We're going to write, I have overcome the world. So, but again, if you'll remember, we did a line here and then a line here. I'm not even showing you well. Here we go. So, straight line. So, we're going to follow those lines with our I have. So, I'm going to start over here. I, um, have... And again, I like to do, on all my block lettering, I really like to do a low cross as far as the H's and the A's. You don't have to. Okay. Yeah, that's oh, right. Sorry, I you <gasps> Susie's going to give me a heart attack over here because I misspell all the words, but no, she knows. She <laughs> but she's right. I do misspell a lot of words. In fact, I did one last week on this little, this little art show. I hope y'all have had a good day. I know it's kind of been dreary, but I was looking forward to this little cat class that gave me a reason to take a shower. <laughs> oh, I have. So again, I'm on that E, I'm following that line. It's just getting a little bigger, but I want to leave some space in between heart and the E. I want to leave some space on that line. Okay, y'all are doing excellent. Now, overcome, overcome. I'm gonna switch back. You keep, you keep, no, you're fine, you're, you're fine. So I'm gonna switch back to my fourth and inch brush, same blue color, and then I'm going to, with my overcome, I'm gonna go up high, because I'm gonna leave this little triangle space right here, okay? So let's start here, over, Wait, can I use this one? No, you stick with what you got, girl. Because you're using half sheet of paper. So you just need more room. There you go. Overcome. And tomorrow, we're actually going to be painting some things to send to people who live in Jonesboro. So I have a friend whose pastor their house was destroyed and I have a picture of their dog and so we're gonna paint a little pet tomorrow so if you have a pet that you're that you would like to paint feel free to grab a picture of him or her 
Um, or just get ready to paint a scripture for someone in Jonesboro who is hurting. We can pray over them as we paint. Overcome. Again, using that cursive. That's okay. And you can always... If you want to use the other sheet, you can. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't you see the whole sheet? Sure. Okay. Overcome. So we're going to go over that with the foligraphy on the down stroke. We're going to double up. Just make it a little thicker. So, and as you can see, my word overcome has kind of gotten smaller as I went on. That, that, was, that was my goal in making that little line. If you know anyone in BSF, we're also going to be painting... Um, something for the medical community this year, or sorry, this week, and then we're going to be painting something that um, that we've been learning in BSF this week. So you could share that with anyone that loves BSF as much as I do. Change my family's life. Today I'm drinking kombucha, which my mom likes to refer to as my elixir. <laughs> but it helps my tummy feel better. Especially when I feel a little crazy. Okay, but take heart. I have overcome. Okay, now I'm going to show you these watercolor pencils. Again, I don't expect for you to have this today, but if you do, go for it. So I'm going to, what I like about it is you can do really small detailed words. And so I'm essentially just coloring out like a colored pencil. I'm going to do two little lines curved. And overcome B. So that's obviously not too complicated. I'm going to go ahead and go over it once more just to add more of that navy blue. And sister, if you want to use this to write overcome, you could. Can I? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to come back over that with your smallest brush. This is just going to show you how to how to do it. So we're just going to wet our brush. And so it's just a damp brush. And essentially, I'm just going over the lines I just did, tracing over it. And it just it makes things watercolor magically. I feel like it's magic. I don't know if you can see the difference in that, but there's, you know, the watercolor TH and then the E has not been touched yet. So that's the difference between what, what it does. And I absolutely love it. Magical. The magical pencils. You could get those like on Walmart.com, on Amazon, I think, if they'll still ship to you. Non-essentials. But you could always improvise. Either use watercolors or just use your colored pencils and markers to do the same design. Oh, <laughs> Good. Second time around, it's always easier. Remember that day I had to start all over because I misspelled the word. Okay. Now we're going to go back, overcome the, and then world is going to fit in. So what we have right here, we have overcome the, and then world is going to fit in. We're going to try to follow this line and then fill in all this space. Okay. So it's, it's not quite a rectangle. It's a rectangle with a slanted edge right here. So get your fourth inch brush again with the blue and overcome the world. Say it out loud. I'm going to do a block lettering and I'll come back later. I got a little bit too much water on my brush right there at the beginning. That looks really good, sis. You're doing great. Zuzu has become the teacher over here. My young Padawan. 
world. love to know ways that you've encouraged others with what you've painted. If you've given it to someone, I heard somebody brought them to the ICU nurses and I just thought how appropriate. So on Thursday is when I think I'm going to, we're going to do a medical um, specific painting. Mm, I'm not doing very good. No, no, it's okay. Just go over it again. Okay. Overcome the world. As you can see, it kind of went up a little bit there, so I'm going to bring my D to my L a little bit farther down if I can. So, just make it look like, oh, I meant to do that, but I didn't. But it's like there. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, J.O. told me my next show should be called Mom Goes Bananas. So, that's encouraging. Again, another slice of humility for me. So, last February, not this past February, but February before, Corey and I got the privilege to go to the Sea of Galilee. And it was absolutely beautiful. And so, right here at the bottom, we're going to paint what we think. It's okay. Let's go there. Piece of paper. Look, you got a whole other piece of paper. Do it on a big sheet. Do it on a big sheet. Okay. Mm. You or you could write it out. If you're having trouble fitting all of your words, feel free to write it out with a pencil first, and then you can always come back and erase it. So, here's our Sea of Galilee line, okay? Just going to do a line, again, with blue right under what we've already done. And I'm using a big old brush this time, inch brush. And I'm just going to bring that color all the way down. And of all the places we got to go in Israel, this was my favorite. And I even, uh, I even got water from all the places that we went while we were there, like the Sea of Galilee, the Jordan River, um, not the Dead Sea because that uh, salt would eat away at the paper, but I got water so that I could bring it back and do watercolors with it. And so that's been fun. I've almost used up all my water. So if you plan a trip to Israel, you could let me know and bring me back some water. That would be amazing. But I love to paint with it. Um, the Pool of Siloam, we brought back water. Gideon Spring. But the funniest thing is, while we were there getting the water, we were at the, the Jordan River. And the Jordan River is kind of murky. And um, not just not as clean as some of those fresh springs. And um, so Corey gets the bottle of murky water. Hold on, I'm gonna, I've erased all my lines, and I'm going to blow them off as well as I can. Um, now, it's not perfect. That's okay. I think the recipient will still be thankful. Actually, someone brought us cinnamon rolls this morning. Can you talk about... Oh, they were so, they were so good. And what a blessing that they somebody... Homemade. They were homemade. You know this mama ain't making homemade cinnamon rolls. Someone knew that we needed to feed the babies. Okay. Oh, it's good. Good job. Okay, um, so Jordan River, the, the story was is that the Jordan River, um, Corey handed our bottle of murky, uh, murky brown Jordan River water that I was saving, handed it to Marcus Brown, who is the campus pastor at the Fort Smith campus, and said, hey, can you hold this till we get in the, till we get in the, um, the bus? And as soon as he went to get it, he said, where's my river water? And <laughs> Marcus said, I drank it. <laughs> and so... Anyway, he baptizes inside. Um, okay, so let's see here. What color should we use to for our mountain? I'm going to mix a little bit of green with blue, just a little bit. And now we kind of did a wash um, last week. If you remember, we were just a lot, very, very wet brush. And so I'm going to make a little line behind here. You're going to have to really think about what your line is for your lettering and what your line is for your mountains. But so I'm going to come start here. And we could have done this before we did the lettering, but it would just take longer. So if you want to try again and do it again, but here's my line. 
and it's going up and I'm just going to take it through there. Does that make, I hope that makes sense. I'm going to take a probably half inch brush, half inch brush. Did I, did I, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry. And again, I've mixed a little bit of dark green with my blue. And I'm going to come in and in between those letters, and again, trying not to touch the letters, I'm going to bring that same color all the way around. This is going to be my mountain surrounding the Sea of Galilee where Jesus calmed the waves in the storm. And we need him to calm the waves right now in the storm that we're in right now. Okay. Girl, sing it. Mm -hmm. Oh, my soul. We got some music jamming in here. This is our time away from everybody, isn't it, Zoo? Okay. Can I just try it? Sure, let's let it dry a little bit. If my heater's in here, you could put it next to that. And again, if you want to do another one, you can. Okay, that's fine. You could even just, if you don't want to do the Sea of Galilee behind here, you could just do just a wash behind. It doesn't have to be different colors. Sure. So I'm working on my mountain right now, getting it in between every, every line. You could do green and mix with blue if you want. You could match or you could do whatever, whatever you want. We're doing blue for you, baby girl. Okay. Ooh, I got too much right there. Let's add a little bit of water to that. So don't forget to send me some pictures or post some pictures and tag them. I would love, tag me. I would love to see what you're doing. And then what you're doing with all your artwork. So take some pictures of this. Some of y'all, the pictures I've seen, you need to open yourself a little Etsy shop. There we go. So there we have some mountains. There's not much to it going around those words. I'm going to take that same blue-green color and I'm going to come down to my water and I'm going to add just a few little lines to kind of show that they're reflecting in the water. And this sea is very calm because we're ready for Jesus to calm the wind and the wave. And we know he will. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of dark green and kind of do some almost bushes at the bottom. Little happy bushes, if we were Bob Ross. I was about to say Ross Perot. Wrong Ross. <laughs> so I'm keeping that straight line, but then under the straight line, I'm making just little jagged edges. And again, bushes are never going to be the same. So don't feel like you need to make them symmetrical. Little bushes. What's so neat is the Sea of Galilee almost reminded me of Hot Springs, Arkansas, where I live. It was just a, a giant big lake. It was beautiful, though. Okay. So I've got my water. I've got my mountains. And now I'm going to go back to that light, light blue. And I'm going to do a wash at the top of my sky. And again, bringing it around, bringing the darker color up top and then adding some water and making it lighter as you go down. Even lighter right in here. Just kind of barely touching your watercolor paper or your computer paper, whatever you're working with. We start with the color up here and then lightly bring it down. That looks great. Oh, 
Take heart, I have overcome the world. I feel like I have a little bit too much right there. Later this afternoon, I think we may go do some drive-bys and say hello to some people from our car and throw some toilet paper out our window. What do you think, Julie? Did we do that last week? What day did we do that? <laughs> we did it. We did it last Monday. And now here it is Monday again. Doesn't feel like it, does it? Maybe. Okay. So with the rolling up with the toilet paper, I just made this on my iPad. Thought we'd roll up and say we love you. So that's something easy. You could use your little lettering, what you've learned. And we, I just printed this off my printer and cut them. And I put them with a roll of toilet paper and we throw it. And we call it TPing houses. We absolutely love doing it. <laughs> Actually, we probably just love getting out of the house. Okay. You want it? Let's see Zuzu's. Do you? Beautiful. <laughs> That's really good. I love it. Okay. Let's go and see what the kids are doing real quick. So, oh, don't forget to sign your piece at the bottom. Let's see. I need to get my... Find your piece and get ready. This will make a very pretty card. You know what? What am I doing? We need if just a little extra credit. If you want to do some extra credit, and I won't show you how to do it right now. Um, let's highlight some of those words. Overcome. That's a pretty important word. Now, some of you might need to wait until the surrounding paint dries so it doesn't bleed. Robbie, please tell your mom thank you for her encouragement. That encouraged so many. Overcome. And honestly, you could do that to all the words on here. I'm going to end right there. But feel free to do that. Remember how we look. Where the sun's going to hit it, and that's where we do our line. Zuzu, can you say signing off? Signing off. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to show you a little bit of our real life. Here we go. Here's the boys watching Dude Perfect. Being so good, getting their little... Can y'all say hi? Hi. What are you watching, Fire Edition? You're watching Fine with the show? No, Fire Edition. Oh, Fire Edition, sorry. Yeah. Here is a mountain of laundry. Somebody let me have those, uh, Miss Beverly let me have those clippings yesterday and I was so excited about them, but there's our dirty laundry that I'm not quite done with. Here's lunch I haven't put away. And, you know, the kids never leave. No, nobody's leaving. I'm still here with everyone. I light a candle so at least it smells good, even though it's kind of dirty. Can y'all say hi? Hi. Coco's gonna join us tomorrow. What y'all doing? Playing Barbies. Playing Barbies. Jill Holland. Jill Holland. Can you show everybody what you're doing? Um, Here's a little creative artist for you. She loves to color. And what are you doing with the crayons? Breaking you're breaking them because we're going to make new crowns, aren't we? We're going to bake some. Are you going to help me on Wednesday? Maybe we should paint a unicorn on Wednesday. Send me a message if you want to paint a unicorn. Can you say, I love you, signing off.